Well, hello, farm and friends, and welcome back to another edition of Farm Simulator 2015 with me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose. And we're back on our Buren Home Farm for another mod showcase today. And this time we're taking a look at the John Deere 678 Bale Wrap Combo. Ooh, fancy. That's right, baling and wrapping all in one with your John Deere 678. I uh, found this today on LS Mods 2015, which is kind of funny because uh, just like two days ago, Recon Landy and I were talking about uh, combo units like this. And uh, then lo and behold, this one appeared today. Um, so I took a look at it. Uh, Landy says he thinks he's seen this before. Um, but at the time it didn't really work. This is version two of it from what I said, from what I saw. Uh, and somebody said maybe it was a port over or something, but I don't know. I don't really care about all that stuff other than the fact that does it work? Does it function? What's the story with it? So, uh, I have run a little bit with it. I found a few little quirks with it. I'll showcase to you and... We'll let you make the decision for yourself whether you want to incorporate this into your game. Um, so the first little thing I'm going to show you here on the front, you see the PTO shaft? It's not centered, and when you turn it on, it wobbles really bad. Um, you know, it looks fine there on that boot, but this boot up here is wrong. When you initially connect it, it will be straight, and it will look gorgeous, but as soon as you engage the, the uh, PTO shaft, it uh, drops off center and is all messed up. So I just thought I would point that out to you. I haven't really noticed a whole lot more on it. I've just kind of given it the basics. It does seem to give me some little like uh, like little glitchiness right here in the back of it. Uh, I don't know what would be causing that, but I do see a little bit of frame shutter uh, when I get right back here behind it in the back. See how that does? Jerks around a little bit. I don't know what's causing that, but uh, it is annoying. Uh, and then we come down this side where we got a little bit more sunlight on it. He got some little shadow glitch in there. But overall, it doesn't look bad. Uh, we'll see what it does. We'll jump inside. Now the controls for it, this is where it gets a little hinky and uh, cumbersome. Go ahead and fire up my tractor. It's two separate units, and I'll show you that in the store in just a minute, but you've got your baler in the front and your wrapper in the back. It's two separate units that you have to purchase in the store. To control it, you have to be on whatever unit you're controlling at the time. So to start up the baler, I'm going to give you the basic key controls. It's the same as all the other balers. To uh, engage the baler, to start it up, you're going to use your B key. To lower the head, you're going to use your V key. And then if when your bale is done, you're going to have to dump it. To open your hatch, it's going to be the O key. And now if you're using a game pad or something like that, it's the same. You'll just have your help menu out and you can look at what it is. You know, it'll tell you that it's the X button to turn it on and off. The B button to lift the pickup. Uh, it'll tell you it's uh, your Y button, I guess, to... Uh, um, to to dump it I don't know uh, all the Xbox controls memorized but anyways uh, that's the way that is so we'll start bailing and the last thing before we start bailing we need to switch to the rear implement and we need to unfold it and to unfold it we're going to use the X key on your keyboard or that would be the left shoulder and the Y button on your controller and then we can just bail just like you would normally so We'll run on up here. It's the same old bale, 4,000 liters. Um, the one thing about the baler, you can bale way too fast. Um, I got up to like 25 miles an hour earlier baling, and that's just way too fast. We're at 19, 20. That's just way too fast for baling. So, all right, once your bale is created, you've got to switch to the baler. you got to dump it. So I'm going to use the O key on my keyboard dump it out then I gotta re-close the hatch and I continue to bail again and just bail on bail on bail on until the bale gets wrapped once the bales wrapped now 
I've got to dump the bale. If I don't dump the bale off of the back, when I dump my baler, the bale that comes out of the baler will just roll off. So you do have to go ahead and, and dump your wrap bale. I'm going to do that by switching to the wrapper and I'm going to hit my O key and that's going to drop that bale off. And then I switch back to the baler so that when the baler gets full, I can go ahead and dump the bale, which is a little bit, you know, of a, a pain in the rear end to have to keep switching back and forth between each implement because eventually you switch to the wrong one and you get a little frustrated with it. So just, uh, Keep that in mind. You'll have some little issues with that along the way. And that's about it for this guy. Like I said, it does function. Uh, and you can wrap bells to your heart's content with it. And again, now that the other one is, is finished, I need to switch to it and kick it off the back before my other bell gets full so I can kick it out. And there I went. I put, I switched into the tractor instead of the implement, thinking I could unload it, and I was in the wrong one. So, um, but otherwise, there you go. So check it out if you uh, want to get that. Uh, I will show you in the store real quick, and you can see uh, all the information about it. So let's jump into the store, and uh, it's going to be in your mods category. And under bailing technology, of course, and it's the John Deere 678, uh, $117,000 for it, $120 a day to rent, uh, or excuse me, $120 a day maintenance. And then, oh, excuse me, that's the wrapper, right? The wrapper is, let me get, make sure I'm on the right one real quick. The baler itself is $117,000. It's $360 a day. That's just ridiculous. These people are crazy on this maintenance stuff. You can go adjust that in the XML if you wanted to. But uh, 670, again, you see it's only good for grass. You cannot do straw with it. So, sorry guys. If you wanted an all-in-one that would do straw and uh, uh, grass, it doesn't work. Um, and then you have to purchase separately the wrapper, which is $35,000. It's $120. In maintenance a day. So you look at this whole rig together. I mean, you're looking at $480 of maintenance a day. That's absurd. Uh, adjust your XML files, people. Learn how to do it because you can adjust that maintenance out of there. But um, yeah, there's the two of them for you. Now, I'm going to show you. I'm going to buy one of each. And I'm going to show you a little problem with this. I'm going to go ahead and buy the, uh, the baler. And then I'm going to buy the wrapper. And at the same time, I am going to buy, well, I missed it because I wasn't over there for it. I need to purchase a tractor. Just any old tractor will do. There we go. And I'm going to jump into it now at the shop. And you're going to see where the problem is with this. I purchased the tractor, the baler. Where's the wrapper? Oh, the wrapper's way back here. And it's upside down now. If I purchase another wrapper, you're going to see what happens here in the store. And so bailing technology, buy the wrapper. Let's get out of this. And it will drop the wrapper down. And, oh, it's bouncing like a basketball. Where did it go? Well, this time it ended up way over there. For some reason, when the wrapper comes down, it freaks out and just goes rolling around. And then to hook it up, you can't. You basically have to reset it to the farm to get it to set in the right place. So that's your best bet. So if I go on here real quick and connect it up, we'll jump over here, reset that to the farm. I'll reset the Hillman to the farm. And I'll reset the baler to the farm as well. Okay. Now, here at the farm, you'll see it sitting right. And then I can connect it up. It's pretty straightforward. You just connect your tractor to your baler. Let 
and then you bring the baler right over here and just back up to it and you gotta back up pretty deep on it because it does inset between the arms a little bit so just back up you would think right there you get the trigger but you gotta come back a little bit more and connect it in and you're good to go with it and as you'll see since I just hooked that up that PTO shaft looks aligned but it's not and there's the whole unit for you alright guys that's going to do it for today's video. It's the uh, John Deere 678 uh, Baylor wrapper combo. It's probably, I'll, t I'll be honest with you, it's nice and it serves a purpose, but it's probably not something I'm going to incorporate in my game. Um, just because, I, I don't know, it's a little, little awkward for me. But I think there's a lot of people that will like this and will enjoy it in your game. I will say that BM Modding has a crone version of this that will be coming out shortly um, they're in work on it right now um, but if you really want some, one for now uh, jump in there and get it it's 678 I'll put the link in the show notes it probably will not appear in my uh, in, in my mods uh, spreadsheet because it's probably not something I'm going to use but I did want to do a quick showcase for you guys all right, thanks for watching. Hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and like it. And uh, if you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I do do a new video each and every day. Until tomorrow, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.